Again, just a rock in the backyard. Pretty freaking crazy. I wonder if I could melt it into a mold. That would be cool. Can I make a little stone monkey? I don't know. You're kind of in the way. Well, hopefully you remember in the last video, or one of the last videos, I'm not sure when this will come out, I melted a rock in the kiln when I was making mushrooms. And it occurred to me at the time, boy, well, wouldn't that be fun to, um, to cast that? So I've been thinking more about that, and I want to try to do just that. What am I going to make? How about a little monkey? Can I make a little stone monkey? I don't know. So I'm going to try. I just printed that out and I also went back and cut the model in half in software and printed a really big version too. So I'm going to see if I can get a mold and then actually just like melt a rock into this and then I'm going to do some kind of tile molds and we'll put some broken pieces in and see can I what I can do. So that's where I'm going to begin. Okay, I think it's time to try to get this out. Oh, worked pretty good. All right, so here's what we got. The monkey molds are out of the kiln. They've been bisque fired. So I have, obviously, I have four little ones and two big ones. And I think this, this test is really going to be more about a release agent question. I made it really thin because I'd rather do multiple coats than have it lose texture. So I'm just going to try to get some color all over it. There. I'll let that dry. I'll put another coat on. Okay, so I'm going to continue to put coats on. This looks good to me, but I'd like a little more. But I wanted to show you, here's what we're going to do. Final decision. We're going to do no coating on this one, just the natural brown. I'm going to try brown over white. We're going to coat it with just the alumina and then put brown over the top and see if that works better. And then we're going to do one just with the alumina. These are so sharp, I can't even tell you. Just lightly touching them, they will stick into your fingers. It's kind of crazy. So I don't know how much I should try to pack these molds. Just put some littler pieces in there. All right, I think that looks good.
There we go. We'll make it extra full. <laughs> and that'll be interesting. We'll see what happens. And then for this last one here, I'm going to go find a rock that looks similar to this one and we'll try and see if we can get an actual rock just to sit in there and melt right into that shape. Okay, so this is the rock I went and found. It's a hot day, so it won't stay wet long, but I just wanted to show you. There's the color. I'm betting this is going to melt. This looks very similar to the last one. You see the kind of the strata here is kind of like a put that down. Maybe we'll even get to see some banding. This will be interesting. All right, we'll throw these in the kiln and tomorrow we'll find out what happens. Okay, so I wanted to show you this. I'm unloading the kiln. The last thing I was about to take off were these dice. And I noticed as soon as I saw this shelf that the dice were uh, half were missing. There should be 12 and, well not quite half, but there should be 12 there. And why, I thought maybe well they blew up or maybe the kiln furniture, which is already fired, but maybe that blew up and the more I looked at it, the more I realized no, nothing blew up. And look at this, look how wide that crack is. That wasn't that way before. It looks like something down there exploded and hit the bottom of the shelf hard enough to make all these jump up in the air, jump off their stand and fall down. So curious to know what I'm going to see down there. It's not a good sign. I've never seen that before. <laughs> uh, I hope it's okay. Well, I might have made a minor miscalculation. <laughs> now that, that's interesting. That was not on that mold. So I think it was this new rock and a chunk of it landed over there maybe. I mean, that is a big, big chunk of rock. I'm going to let these cool down to the touch. Then we're going to get these out and take a look at them more closely. But whoa, this right here is all one piece. But I want to show you something. Look at this weirdness. Can you see? It looks chromey. But it doesn't look chromey everywhere. Like, let's take a look over here at these little guys. There you go. It does not look chromey everywhere. It only looks chromey like on the on the cracked parts. Like so this dark area up here, I think that was on the outside, and these were exposed you know, sharp, glassy, exposed sides, but so only on the sides, and this was a bunch of chips, so there was a lot more sides, so it looks way more chromey, but what is going on with that? I mean, you can see really clearly here, too. Look how chromey that is. What is going on? If you have any ideas, let me know, because I would love to know how do you build a chrome glaze out of rocks. So anyways, I see, you can see that kind of chrominess here too. So let me show you something else that's kind of interesting. It's almost like this rock, I had pointed out those red light layers in between. It's almost like this rock was a stack of pancakes. And it popped off this top one. This top was not on here before. It was, it was on here somehow and it flew up. I think it hit the shelf above and it landed on that other spot. But look at how it just peeled apart. Can you kind of see these, it just looks like pancakes laying there. Uh oh, I already have my first rock fracture. This is so sharp, this stuff, man, I gotta be careful. Ooh, look it. Ooh, look it. It's starting to release. Oh, we might get a real monkey. I think I want to get a chisel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stone monkey. Oh, that is cool. I wonder how it's going to clean up or okay success number one stone monkey number one i think that's freaking cool and look at the back so weird Let's see if we can get this 
extra piece to just jump off. Apparently not that easy. Well, it didn't break the monkey inside, so that's good. Oh, that did break the monkey. And remember, this was the mold that had none. I didn't put any release on this one, so obviously that was almost a kind of foregone conclusion that it would fail, but I needed to know for sure. Let's do this small one with just the aluminum. We had a little bit of breakage. Stone monkey number two. Not our best work yet. This is the one with just the backyard mixed with aluminum. Interesting. This is not a bad looking monkey. Uh, you can see it didn't fill in. It's not fully together, but it does have a discernible face. Okay, so this is the alumina with the brown and alumina over the top of it. So twice the release. Boy, this is a thick one. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. That looks good. And those aren't cracks, I don't think. I think those are just literally spots where the little chips didn't flow fully together. But look at that. Stone Monkey, I think that might be our best one. Really interested to see if this cleans up or how it cleans up. Kind of tempted to take a wire brush to them next. But, so weird. So you could definitely use backyard gravel. I obviously use fragments of a bigger piece, but backyard gravel into a ceramic tile that you press to shape into and you may be able to cast your own stone. I think overall I like the face on this one best. They're all interesting. I mean if you were digging a hole out in the middle of nowhere and you found one of these, uh, you were way back in a cave and you found one of these things, I don't know what you would think. <laughs> they certainly don't look like anything recently made. Kind of crazy. So I want to see the effect of, I have a soft stainless steel wheel on this grinder and I want to see, can I remove the red and what sort of texture do I lose? What does it do to the rock? So let's just find out here. I'm worried it's it's kind of eating the rock away. It makes it, I mean, I, I don't think you would even be able to tell what this is if you were just looking at it. I mean, it's clearly a head of some kind, but would you see it as a little monkey? I don't think so. Although, I don't know, I mean that, again, if you want it to look like a strange artifact, that certainly does it. So, what do you think? 